Dorks of Yore. Hey guys, I'm Pat Kilbane, and this is the first episode of RPG Science, where we explore the physics and biomechanics behind principles of tabletop role-playing games. Today, what we're exploring is halfling strength. I don't know if you've ever played a halfling in a D&D campaign. If you have, you understand the poetic nature of a small creature doing something really heroic. But halflings are so small, you kind of wonder if they would even get the job done. I mean, at three feet tall, they're about the height of a five-year-old, which is really small. So to figure out how strong a halfling would be, we start with the strength of an average man. Since strength is proportional to the cross-sectional area of the muscle, we're going to find a cross-sectional area index for this average man. We're going to divide his weight by his height in inches, and that gives us an index of 2.26. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the halfling, and that gives us 1.25. Now we take the 1.25, divide it by the 2.26 number of the average man, and we end up with 0.553, which means that a halfling is 55.3% as strong as the average man, or has a bench press of about 79.1 pounds, which is pretty cool. Like knowing what an average halfling will bench press, I think that's kind of awesome. Now the fifth edition player's handbook says that the average person has a strength of between 10 and 11. So if we split the difference there and make it 10.5 and multiply that by the same 55.3%, we end up with a number of 5.8 or about six. So a halfling's strength is going to be about six if it's an average halfling. Now six is not a great number, obviously. He's gonna have a minus two to attacks, a minus two to damage, but what this number doesn't consider is that a halfling has excellent relative strength. Absolute strength is the amount of weight you can lift. It's your ability to exert force on other bodies. But relative strength is your pound for pound strength. It's your force to mass ratio. So a halfling who weighs 45 pounds and can bench press 79 pounds is lifting 175% of his body weight. Now, if you compare that to a man who's bench pressing only 93% of his body weight, the halfling is extraordinarily strong. So if you do the math there, a halfling, in terms of his pound for pound strength, has about a 20. Okay, so to summarize, a halfling is gonna have a strength, this is the average halfling, a strength of about six when it comes to lifting, pushing, pulling, attacking, doing damage, that sort of thing but a halfling should have a strength of about 20 when it comes to climbing or pull-ups or gymnastics, anything that's, that's a matter of force to mass ratio. In real terms, a halfling would be half badass and half weakling. It all depends on what the circumstance would be. So what do you think? Do you think it would be cool if somehow the rules incorporated this dichotomy of strength? Let me know, guys. I'll see you next time.